They see all these heroes in the police. They might just disappear. Oh. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season four, episode seven of My Hero Academia. Go! In all caps with two exclamation points. <laughs> yes, so this is probably the feeling that Lamillion and Deku have after hearing that Chihei Hasaikai has been manufacturing these bullets from, they guess, Eri, the daughter of uh, Overhaul, they, they're saying. And uh, that really made Deku and Mirio feel like they need to go because they let her go. What are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? I mean, if Deku and Mirio are not able to just save her immediately, which they're not going to be able to do, obviously, they're screwed. You mean mentally? Mentally, yeah. Like, f from their own perspective, because they, like, technically made the right choice. Like, they, you know, did what they were told they needed to do. But now knowing, like, objectively, everything would have been better if they had done what Deku wanted to. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to trust the system after the system fails you like that. Yeah, but we'll see how they handle this and if they can go uh, complete their mission, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for episodes coming every Friday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes of My Hero right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with episodes of Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Code Geass. Are we excited for episode... Seven of season four of My Hero Academia. Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. At Red Riot's debut fight, I saw something new. Tamaki was shot, and the bullet contained some kind of drug I've never heard of before. One that destroys quirks. And when we analyzed the substance from the bullet, we discovered it contained human blood and cells. In other words, that Horrifying. effect came from a person, it's from awful. someone's power. A quirk that can destroy quirks. Their young head, Chisaki, quirk overhaul. Wait, I have another a idea. Yes. I mean, this is obviously a question that you can't answer, but no one we've met so far has a quirk that's like, like their hair can be used for this or their like nails can be used for this. It seems- I mean, one for all is passed on through hair or through DNA, but- Okay. I'm more thinking along the lines of, does Ari have a quirk? Uh, Cause I'm, I can't imagine that her quirk is like the ability for her blood to be turned into bullets. Like that, that, doesn't make sense with all of the other quirks in this universe. It feels like her quirk is one thing. And then as a side effect of that, they've figured out how to, you know, take advantage of it. But I, I don't see that as like the primary thing, which then begs the question, what is her primary thing? And what would happen if she were able to access it? Their young head, Chisaki, quirk overhaul. A quirk that allows you to completely freak. break down matter and a bullet that can break down quirks. Chisuki has a daughter named Eri. There are no records or details about her birth. But when Mirio and Midoriya encountered her, they noticed there were bandages wrapped around her arms and legs. We're wondering if this Chisuki bastard is turning his daughter's body into bullets. What are all these images? The I think that's a representation. They're it, just like showing like what's happening. Yeah, this is, just, I th I'm guessing this is just kind of the manga representation of him using her. Yeah, just, okay, that's he, what that feels like, but it's not. And the other thing I thought of is if he's using her blood, like it's a lot like plucking the feathers off of a bird or something. True. That they'll grow back or legs. I don't know. Yeah. We're wondering if this Chisaki bastard is turning his daughter's body into bullets and selling them on the black market. Would have saved us a lot of trouble if these two amateurs had just gotten the girl away from him. That's Thank you block. for that. Nobody yeah. in this room is more frustrated than they are. We'll get Aerie away from him next time, and, and we'll protect, protect her. Indeed, that's precisely what we've come here to discuss. Go. A few days had passed since we'd learned the truth. The 
pro heroes that had teamed up with Sir Night Eye were doing their best to pinpoint the location of Chisaki. She has Are they just physically training now? Daughter, mm -hmm. Is this just physical training? This is just their they're yeah, at my, a gym. This is just their classes. Cool. Right. Chisaki. Okay. She has Saikai's young head and his daughter, Eri. Until they could, we were on standby. And we were under orders not to say anything about our work studies to anyone. You can really tell who started their work studies, huh? They picked up some tricks while they were away from here. Hey! What have you guys been learning? Tell me! Sorry, <laughs> we can't! Sorry, we're not allowed to. It's Kirishima, classified. Yeah. Uraraka. Yikes. Asui. Everyone who was there for the conference would be part of the operation to save Aerie. Don't get too worked up about this. The big three are one thing. They're strong enough to hold their own out there with the pros. But the rest of you will be minimally involved. Asui, Uraraka, Kirishima... You didn't volunteer for this, and you're not obligated to participate. It's your call. Mr. I mean, Eraserhead? After everything <laughs> that we just heard, I can't imagine not helping out, sir. Yeah, if you're gonna let us be a part of this, I'd like to pitch in however I can. The heroes asked you to be in that meeting. I don't think they would have wanted you guys to be there if they didn't recognize your abilities. I mean, I've seen for myself that a first year can shine much brighter than me. You're gonna have to let that go at some point, you know. <laughs> If I can use my power to help that girl even a little bit, then count me in, Eraserhead. As long as you all understand, our scope here is limited. For now, our only goal is to rescue Eri. We won't step in further than that. Given the recent altercation, neither the police nor Night Eye believe that the League of Villains and the Shie Hasaikai have formed a partnership. So the chances are relatively low that the League will be involved in this raid. But if it turns out they're mistaken about that, and the League does end up putting in an appearance, you guys are out. Understood, Understood sir! <laughs> Everyone was pumped up and ready to rescue Aerie. But something was still weighing on me. That looks delicious. Yeah. Please stop! If you continue like this, I swear, you'll face off against a villain and die an unspeakably gruesome death! It didn't seem like a good time to ask Night Eye. Since we were now forbidden to talk <laughs> yeah. about our work studies, I couldn't bring it up with All Might either. And it's not something I can talk to the other students about. Eric's situation, the threat to All Might, it was almost too much for me. Please, please don't go. I knew I needed to focus and put everything I had into rescuing Eric, but my mind felt so scattered. I was barely holding it together. You're not gonna eat? Uh, of course I am! Here, see? I'm behaving right? so normally. Yeah. You've been acting edgy and depressed ever since you started your work study. Dang. Coming from oh, him, that's... I really? <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to talk or anything, just let me know. We're friends, right? Hey, if you ever want to talk or anything, just let us know. We're friends, right? That's what you said to well, me. Well, that's remember? sweet. Back when we were heading Aww. off to our internships, Aww. I was acting like a fool. No, <laughs> 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 oh. Ah! Oh, oh dear. Midoriya. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's nothing. I can't tell you what's going on. Not yet. But. Thank you, Ida. <sighs> Regret, sorrow, fear, all the feelings I'd been trying to bury began to overflow a little. <sighs> heroes aren't supposed to cry. I don't know. Says who? I figure that heroes cry when they need to, don't they? Yeah. Here, uh, you want half of my soba? And I've got extra beef <laughs> That's so sweet. Onions? Yeah, sure. Wasabi? <laughs> yeah. That was so cute. Yeah. It's really weighing on him. Yeah. Whoa. 
we've made a thorough list of groups with connections to Hasaikai, as well as properties cool owned by the organization. This is our starting point. I would like you all to investigate each coordinate on this map. It is the most logical way to narrow down our targets. All right, this looks promising. This is rock lock, by the mm -hmm. way. As you investigate possible locations, consider the following criteria. One, is oh. this a place where quirk destroying bullets could be manufactured? Two, do people and goods go in and out frequently? Three, has the area seen a recent influx in illegal drugs? Hasaikai has a plan in place. They're working quickly and quietly to carry it out. We must proceed with utmost care moving forward. Okay, so they're narrowing it down. Yeah. Kind of. All right. Keep looking and let us know what you find. The first half of the list turned up nothing. They've got to be hiding the girls somewhere. How do you focus on geometry when like that's on your mind yeah that's give tough tough break if you're in classes for that yeah yeah <laughs> the sleep cap hmm. <gasps> oh. all right you too we got it. <laughs> Didn't even have time to gel his hair. The bed head is so funny. What's happening? All right. Guess you could, hate, could say yeah, it's man, time to looking, it went pretty quickly. go. I can name it. Yeah, yeah. Like the title of the episode. Let's do our best. Hell yeah. All right. Why is she not sleeping under the covers? Well, it looks like we're in for sunshine today, so get out there and enjoy the nice weather. And me? I know Tokoyami's still off in Kyushu, but I wonder where the rest of the work study students are. <laughs> yeah, <it's strange. laughs> they're they're going to work. Yeah. Too. <laughs> I know. Did you see him this morning? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. He was staring at his food with this super intense look on his face. And it wasn't only Deku, either. The other three looked really serious, too. Like something big was about to happen. You guys think what they've been doing out there is dangerous? Even if it is, they'll be with pros, right? That's true. There's probably nothing to worry about. Huh? They're keeping this airy girl in their stronghold? And by stronghold, you mean... The headquarters of the Hasaikai. It's their leader's residence. <sighs> so you're telling me all that time we spent investigating the headquarters or his house? Not at all. We gained plenty of new information oh. as well. How'd you confirm she was there? Oh, weird. A member of the Hasaikai visited a nearby department store the other day. He purchased a toy favored by young girls. Uh, uh, what? Oh, That's pretty sparkly. Listen, maybe the guy just likes cutesy stuff. Different strokes for different folks, Nai. Oh, he's going to get in so much trouble when they find Wano? out that's how they tracked him down. Yes. <laughs> I was there when he made the purchase and overheard his conversation with the store clerk. Hey, uh, what's that show little girls are into these days? Glitter something or other? Oh, sure. I wonder if you could be thinking about Glitter Squad, maybe? Yeah, that's <laughs> the one. I remember now. It's Squad Action Glitter Squad. So, you, uh, got any of those? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The Squad Action Glitter Squad series was from a number of years ago. The current series is Gung Ho Glitter Squad 10. Really? Okay, where are those, then? They're <gasps> right over here. Whoa, where'd you come from? You were asking about Glitter Squad. I'm a fan, too. Oh, oh. Yes, I have to make eye contact. Gotcha. Hmm. 
Wow. Okay, so he knows for sure now. You ended up using foresight anyway? So that recall, certainly is the situation. Yep. More certain. In every Whatever, situation he's ever used it. Yeah. Need, right? Yes. And we know for sure when they'll Specifically that, not certain. Yeah. Right, yeah. Or could be certainly. Who knows? Right. Yes. And we know for sure when they'll be there, thanks to our stake. We also worked with the police and already got a warrant to search the place. Next step is to barge in there. Oh, man, that's my line. Hey, Deku. Come on, Midoriya. We're all over this. Let's rescue that girl. Take down some bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> he's high. Like he's back to normal. Perfect. <laughs> All right. You've been regretting the vibes are maybe a little different. Time, but okay. Haven't you? But I hope you know it's only because you held your ground that we were able to go into this mission fully prepared. Regret and failure are an inevitable part of life. What's actually important, though, is what you learn from them. I don't know if it's possible to change the future. But so that was when he read his wow. future. You can change the effect the past has on you. By interpreting your history, it's possible to modify how you view the present. You also heard what he said about the future, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's possible to change the future. Mm -hmm. but you can change the effect the past has on you. By interpreting your history, it's possible to modify how you view the present. Mirio. Okay. Shine. I know you're someone who can do that. This time. For sure. For sure. Now then, let's begin. Boss, it sounds like they figured out where we are. So they're coming. Proceed according to plan. You got it, sir. Prepare Have they explained yourself. all the plague masks? So far, we've just seen that he thinks everything is filthy. Right. And the air is filthy for him. Right. Well, like, I mean, that, that was like the thing about plague masks is you'd put potpourri in it so you wouldn't get sick. Because if you can't smell the dead, then you can't get sick, which doesn't hold up but germ theory wise it does yeah, we don't have like a full explanation but we do know that like it's just the way he operates because he's kind of a germaphobe right but it looks like the little guy on the couch also has one and then that, the guy he's talking to i think he used it because of that reason and they're using it because they're part of his game oh uh, okay cool the plan you got it sir prepare yourself right where are More you just going? a sign of being on his team. Okay. To take care of something. Or like an upper level in his mm -hmm. team. As you know, Night Eye was able to use his quirk on a Hasaikai member. Through it, he saw underground facilities, and we believe them to be this Yakuza group's headquarters. We are also able to confirm that the girl we're trying to rescue is currently being held in one of the rooms there. Although we were unable to map out the entire layout of the underground hallways, we believe the man Sir Night I saw took the shortest route to our target. This is the best intel we have at the moment concerning the Hasaikai stronghold. It's the basis of this mission. Okay. Stay smart. These guys are dangerous, and we can expect them to bring their quirks against us full force. We're passing around a list of current Hasaikai members and their quirks, according to our registration databases. Commit this to memory. It's solid information to have on hand. Thank you for this. We don't want to give them time to hide. Our aim is to identify and apprehend all members as quickly as possible while securing our target. Things are moving fast now, huh? You're energetic, considering how early it is. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. No joke. First detective you. work and now we're cooperating uh, with the police? That it's too early. Yeah. So much I don't know. Right? So official. 
That's true. Schools don't always prepare you for investigations like this. Isn't that the fucking truth? She's yeah. right. All the pros seem like they're pretty chill, huh? So brave! Hey, I haven't seen Gran Torino around here this morning. You know where he is? Apparently he won't be joining us today. Uh, sir? Tsukauchi's been keeping an eye on the League. According to him, it looks like they're on the move. Fortunately, we have plenty of heroes here, so we can afford to send Gran Torino. I see. Maybe we could take down the Hasaikai and the League of Villains at the same time! Oh, yeah! Let's go! Not yet. Uh, Mr. Eraserhead, sir! I'm teaming up with Night Eye Agency for this. Do you understand? Oh, wow. Me? Okay. So I'll watch you. If you're going to see this through, you gotta do it the right way. Use your head. Yes, sir! Now, heroes! Things could get violent quickly out there. If you encounter even a hint of suspicious behavior or resistance, call for help immediately. Here, take this swordfish. Eat up. You think I'll need it? Okay, sure. <laughs> Does he get a sword? We're up against gangsters who've we'll avoided see. capture until now. It is imperative that each of you carry out your respective assignments. Can and he stay choose like there. what components he gets of you, whatever he yeah. eats have we had this conversation before yes okay we've had this exact conversation yeah, and i'm not have. sure okay perfect typical it is imperative that each of you carry out your respective assignments and stay sharp in there we will commence the operation at 0830 hours heroes move out Sorry, Pops. Things are about to get noisy. Noisy. Once they've read the warrant, then you're free to move. I'm counting on everyone to act swiftly. What's with this guy? Over here acting like we don't know our jobs. You know that's not what he means, Rocklock. Give it a rest. Hmm. The real problem? is that these Yakuza bastards are good at living in the shadows. They see all these heroes in the police. They might just disappear. Oh. Nice. Are you all right? I think so. Thank you. What do you want? It's too early for visitors. Oh, man. You kidding me? Oh, my God. How do they already know we're here? No time for questions. Let's go. That's good. I'm waking up a little. Do we know this guy? Freeze yourself. No. Okay. He was just... Well, he was in the force helping uh, overhaul. Gotcha. He's just really fucking strong. Right. He punched the, the dragon person. Okay. Listen to me! We shouldn't split up too many of our forces yet. The Ryukyu Agency will take care of this villain. What? Yeah. Cool quirk, That's right? That's awesome. Let's support Ryukyu. Wow. She's in the top ten. That makes sense. This is the heroes and the police. We have a warrant to search your premises on suspicion of manufacture and sale of illegal drugs. They've got a search warrant? Who cares? <laughs> exactly. Stop resisting. They sure led with a brawler. These guys ain't scared. Quickest route. Let's go. Get to the girl. We've got this. Don't we? I love that fat gun's yes. just fully keeping up with all of them. Hell yeah. And those quirk is being extremely be overweight. This time we'll save you. I love that they're working together. Yeah. Oh, that's like a famous, famous that, shot. That makes sense. Oh, they're so good together. Yeah, well, like, you would think that there would be, like... These guys ain't scared. You think what? Some kind of conflict. Not in, like, an outright way, but they just seem, like, fully not threatened by the other. Yeah. Which, for such similar powers, is impressive. Yeah, well, they have different powers, but... They, I mean, yes, but I mean, just, like, vibe-wise... Yeah. 
Like they're both very All Might coded. Yeah. And it makes sense. I that think All Might would be best friends with himself. Like it's a great it, Exactly. Point. Yeah. But it's such a like it's a great representation of like of like how the power goes beyond just like the ability, but also like the interpersonal yeah. dynamic. Yeah, very cool. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see our post credit scene. I can hear them, just barely. A lot of them out there. Sounds like they're running in the same direction, which means they already know where they want to go. They probably already know where we are. It happened sooner than I thought it would. We can't afford to be found right now. They attacked on their own. Make that the story. That is what our pawns were groomed for. The eight bullets of the Hasakai group. <laughs> the eight bullets? That's probably the masked this power. People. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Who's the bag person? The Butterface villain. While there by hmm. this time, we'll collect Airy and any evidence of our plans and disappear. And that is where we are left for that episode. Wow. I read all about these guys and I can take these three on. Yes. I've got a life that can swallow even the suns. That's why I'm no. Sun Eater. Okay. What are your thoughts? Great episode. Yeah. This show is so fun. Yes. Okay. Um. I mean, horrifying circumstance. Oh, yeah. No, it's awful. But I mean, it's it, there's so much to think about and talk about and watch it. it yeah. Very cool. Thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for our next episode. And uh, check out the Patreon link in the description below to see these episodes right now. Yeah, uh, we have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode of any show that we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one. Brendan O'Connor asks, now that the raid on the Shie Hasai Kai's compound has started, which heroes or villains are you interested in seeing? All of them. I'm really looking forward to seeing Deku and Mirio, just because I feel like they're already such effort-based heroes and it just like people in general and this feels like possibly the most motivating thing they could possibly be working on i'm looking forward to seeing more of the the they said the eight what bullets of the shihei's the eight like bullets it. yes um the masked people yeah and just kind of like generally what their skill set is so kind of what they're working with I want to see more from the dragon hero. Yeah. That was awesome. Really cool. Yeah. I I did not see that coming and she just became a no. dragon. I was like, <laughs> oh. Well, and now I, I like. Get why you're the dragoon hero. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> but to have this like massive, massive villain show up and then just like when they panned over, I thought that the r situation was reversed because like in my head, the villain was so much bigger than everyone else. Yeah. So for it to be her and then to see the like little tiny guy who is his like, you and she's know, like, she, everybody else palm on the forehead. Exactly. <laughs> like, so like, all right. Very cool. Like that. Yeah. No, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, also, hell of a way to answer the door uh, by them. Right? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> oh, my God. Come out charging. Don't even try to lie your way out yeah. of it. Uh, no. But uh, let's go to our second question. Question two. Um, Ashton asks, as we've seen Midori and Togeda dealing with their feelings of regret and guilt for not saving Eri, do you think their new determination to save her will pay off and result in victory? Or will it cause them to be reckless out of desperation to make up for their previous failure to do so? How would it affect them if it were to fail again, especially with the aid of all the pro heroes present? God, that this is like my biggest worry because even though it is highly motivating, they are still young heroes. They're like, you know, they're highly ranked in their class, but they're still students. I'm thinking there's potentially a situation where the like determination is to like sticking to the plan because they already committed to that road kind of, and you're so aware of not wanting to overcorrect that you do what you're supposed to do. I think the far more likely situation is that it kind of gets in their head and gives them the yips and they're not thinking about things in their like fully most logical mind because they're so singularly focused on like writing this wrong mm -hmm. and like that that could potentially lead them to go off script, which would be a nightmare. 
yeah uh, i'm interested to see what, what you think of uh how it affects them but uh let's go to our third question i just can't <laughs> Most give away nothing anything. burger of That's a reply ginger kitty seven asks what did you think about getting to see night eyes quirk in action having done so any further speculation on whether the futures he see can or can't be changed okay super interesting because that did seem pretty undeniable like I know he was talking about like how perspective and context is important, but like in terms of like <laughs> you see an image of this guy with this box <laughs> with this little girl, like you can't, that just is what it is. In terms of the route he said they took, they're assuming that that's the best route, which I feel like is reasonable. You know, the guy didn't know that he was being tracked at the time. But then in like a watching a film roll type situation, how do you really differentiate a hallway with a bunch of doors? Yeah. So that kind of makes me think that the very like objective images are set in stone and unavoidable and not really open to interpretation. But then there are also some things that can appear as though, oh, this is the path we took. It just skipped a frame in between all of the like hallway pictures and you wouldn't know he sees their life like a movie so he, we're seeing just the frames but he sees pretty much all of it okay that's how he was able to dodge deku's every little movement yeah hmm it's more like he gets the footage of them right like their gopro point of view or like right next to him yeah so you think the future can be changed or you think it's more definite i think it's pretty definite We'll see if that yeah. guess becomes a reality, but that is uh, where we are left for this episode. Are we excited for episode eight of season four? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.